Hey guys, welcome to my garage. And uh, today I'm going to be experimenting with the XT4. Um, so, what's the objective? In the garage, as you can tell, there's not great light. So, what I want to test is the image stabilization for still photography. This lens here, 56mm, doesn't have any image stabilization. So, the idea is that only the inbuilt uh, image stabilization, in body image stabilization, is going to be performing at this level. I'm going to be shooting at 160 ISO or 200. I'm not going to crank it up. I'm going to keep that shutter low. I'm really terrible when it comes to shooting at uh, low shutter rates. Generally, um, I think 140th, 150th is the best I can handhold. After that, I don't know what it is, but I can't get a clean shot. I have to generally crank up the ISO to get a clean shot. So, in this case, I'm going to lock my ISO, 160, and we're going to get inside the car, outside the car, and I'm going to be taking a whole bunch of pictures. Hopefully, they will all be slow shutter uh, images. Um, so, I'm looking for 120th, 130th, even lower, 1 5th of a second. Let's see how well the image stabilization on this camera does at low light because it's rated to up to five stops um, if not more in some lenses but I think what I remember is up to five stops so let's test this XT4 out and uh, let's see how well it performs right in the back of the car so let's get started take some shots That was one fourth of a second. Now, I did bring a small little light, this Aperture ALM9. I have two of these. One is lighting me, so you can see me. Um, another one I just brought just to add a tiny bit of light. So I'm have, I have it dialed at the lowest possible setting, and I'm gonna just leave it on the seat so I can get a little bit more light in here and uh, hopefully get some better shots. At the end, we'll see them in the computer anyway. So, let's try a few more compositions. This is fun, getting in the car and taking some shots. I normally sit in the front. One sixth of a second. Vertical composition. All right, I'm gonna get some detailed shots the wheel, the badge, uh, and maybe walk around the car as well. So, um, for this one, I'm gonna add a little bit of light, like I said before. I have the uh, ALM9, so I'm just going to put this here and just angle the light onto it. And let's take a few shots of the wheel. Maybe the patch. Patch. Again, getting down low, this kind of shot, I would have a lot of body movement, vibration. Let's see how. Alright, um, I've got the badge, I've got the wheel, um, I want to get some details off inside of the car. And uh, I'm going to get those um, from the outside. So I'm going to walk around, take a few detail shots. I'm going to use this light just to add a little bit more light inside because it's pretty dark. Okay. Wait for the door lights to turn off. That's cool. Alright, 
So I think I'm done taking some of these pictures. Um, next step is to download these on uh, my computer and check them out. So let's go back inside and uh, yeah, have a look at these photos on the computer. All right, so I've finished um, downloading all the photos and what I've done is basically sifted through those and had a look at the, the results beforehand because I didn't want um, to show you the whole process of me picking those photos. Um, I've got a few, 10 handful of shots. Uh, majority of them, I have to say, they are tack sharp uh, in terms of the depth of field, the nailing the focus, and then obviously keeping the sensor and my hand stable to get a stable, clear shot. So um, I'm gonna walk you through some of those pictures. Um, there are a few blurry ones, but that's probably me more than the sensor. I can't believe I've been able to take some of these shots at these kind of shutter speeds. So let's walk through those. This one here I took from the back seat through a little gap and uh, basically just focusing on the badge there and that's 0.1 of a second. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I could have ever taken that shot. And um, at 1.2, the uh, depth of field is very, very shallow. So um, very impressed being able to get that clean shot. This one, nothing too um, extraordinary. 1 25th of a second. Um, here we have 1 9th of a second. So there's a little bit of a haze, but that's because of the glass. But overall, the image is uh, sharp. Here as well, 1 7th of a second. Oh my God, that's, that's amazing. 1 7th of a second. Really impressed with uh, what this sensor can do and the image stabilization built in. This shot here, you can see one sixth of a second. This one I don't think is in focus, nor it is uh, sharp. I think there's some movement there, but um, like I said, 90%, 95% of the shots are crisp. Here again, I think I've got some movement. Again, probably me, one third of a second. At 1.2, obviously, there's a very shallow depth of field. So um, that's understandable. Let's keep going. So this one here is in focus. Um, next here, th one three point two, one third of a second basically. And uh, again, this one I focused here, and this is in focus. The text is legible. Here again from the outside, taking this shot. Um, again, that's one thirteenth of a second. And uh, this one here off the badge, again, 0.1 of a second. I am incredibly impressed by the image stabilization of the X-T4. Um, I have been missing this um, up to now, but uh, I think I'm gonna have to watch out for some of the sales to order my own, because definitely I can do with some low light sharp photos, which I really struggle with. And um, that's just me. Uh, maybe you have a steady hand and you can shoot uh, fairly low light photos handheld easily. But uh, in my case, handheld shots, low light, they don't go hand in hand together. Um, so um, I've been really enjoying taking photos and uh, having fun with the X-T4. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel up here if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, uh, it's been great shooting with the X-T4 in this low light kind of scenario slash setup at home. How good are you? Let me know what's the lowest shutter speed you can shoot at uh, in the comments down below. In my case with the X-T4, yes, it is very, very low. Um, as I said before, I can normally, I'm terrible. I'm terrible, seriously, I am. Um, but uh, so that means what? That means the image stabilization in the sensor is doing a great job keeping that frame steady enough so that the camera can take the exposure. So um, yeah, great job Fujifilm on uh, building the in-body image stabilization in the X-T4. I can't wait to buy my own and have uh, more fun with it in the coming days. So make sure you watch out for those sales, okay? I'm sure Fujifilm and other retailers will be advertising them usually end of financial year, there's some sales. So hopefully coming soon to a store near you. Sound like a commercial. But anyway, guys, speak to you later. Take care. Bye.